When it comes to self-defense, I'm not a huge fan of takedowns, especially outside because of multiple attackers and things like that. But what we're doing here is Eric got in trouble. He got into a little bit of a scuff. Let's talk about all the good things that he did. So first thing, because I was bigger, he went for inside bicep control, right? So he's just trying to find the biceps. If he can find the biceps, it's very unlikely that he's gonna get hit. Okay, so we'll just switch roles here so you guys can see. So from the bicep control, you're gonna be able to get an inner clinch. Okay, so in Muay Thai, you see this all the time. In Muay Thai, they clinch here, they throw elbows, they do all these different things. But striking is pretty hard to get unless you're heavily trained. So when I used to train a lot of LEOs and security officers, this was like their go-to takedown. So I get the clinch, I get a secondary clinch. Now from here, especially when you're smaller, you wanna bring your elbows in, and then you want all your weight to hit the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna over-exaggerate this motion. It's my body that's driving him down. Eric, because he's worried about his neck right now, is like pushing his head up. If you can't do that, boom, smash in the face. Trust me, they're gonna drop their head a little bit. So we want the head to be here. So I'm clinching, but I'm really driving down with my weight. You can control a bigger opponent when it comes to actually manipulating their head. So he's pulling in. The thing is, what I find is a lot of students can resist on the way down. The second that that happens, I'm trying to do this with my arms. So you're gonna step and turn at the same time using your hips. So I come from my inside clinch position. I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna step back. What I really like that Eric did at this point, if you see this takedown, puts me to his head, to his hands and to his feet. So he can't start kicking me right away and this gives me a chance to exit. He wanted to add some damage in, so he went to knee on belly, threw a couple punches, right? Head on a swivel, turned and ran away. That's good self-defense training. So let's go over the technique again. He shot for the inside bicep control. You see this a lot in catch wrestling. Then he went to like a Muay Thai clinch. So he's not snapping the head down. He's here and using his whole body to drop. Back leg is gonna pivot. You're gonna keep your elbows tight to your body. So important, a lot of students will do this and it's really hard to get. The second I go into my body, he falls with ease. It's at this point here that you have to make a choice of, do you feel threatened anymore? Is he cowering? Is it safer for you to run away? Because if you just start wailing on him and he's no longer attacking you, you can probably go to jail. So do this again. You're looking for that inside bicep control. Clinch down, twist, boom, hit if you need to, run away to safety. Stay safe out there, guys.